10 million dollars? Yes, because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. We go back in Atlanta history and we find out that Andrew Young, the famous mayor of Atlanta and former ambassador to the UN, started a night called the Mayor's Mask Ball. This year, the tradition continued with today's mayor, Kasim Reed, and this event apparently raises $1 million for the United Negro College Fund. We were there to talk to the stars as they came out to support these young, brilliant people. Doctor, tell us about tonight and why it's so special. Well, this is special. This is the 28th annual Mayor's Mask Ball. You know, we've been doing this in this city for a long time. We get the great support from the mayor, Mayor Kasim Reed, but we'll have previous mayors here from Andy Young to Shirley Franklin to Bill Campbell. They, they start and they just can't stop. But very importantly, we're going to raise a million dollars tonight. We better raise a million dollars, and that million dollars will, will enable us to help students at uh, UNCF member institutions here in Atlanta and across the country. Former Ambassador, you started this all. The purpose of this is to make sure that those people who are receiving the blessings and benefits of living and serving and working in this city have an opportunity to pass on those blessings to future generations so that Atlanta will continue to turn out bright, brilliant, creative leaders, not just for Atlanta, but for the whole world. You look so beautiful as always. Why was it so important for you to be here tonight? Wow, year after year, I think this is probably my 15th Mayor's Mass Ball. I was awarded back in 2000, so every year, I know that there have been conversations as to whether or not HBCUs are even relevant in this day and time, but I believe that they are. So the presence that is here tonight should not let anyone know who was doubting at all that yes they are. Higher education, particularly for people of color, is a must and we have to do whatever we can do to continue to raise awareness, to raise money, to raise finances so that these young people who want to get an education are able to do so and stay in school. Well it's great having you back in Atlanta. Why was it so important for you to be here tonight? Well I wanted to support the mayor and uh, you know in, in UNCF uh, I think it's, a, you know, it's an incredible thing to invest in our youth, so, I mean, I'm here. What's the message to young people in particular? The message is we care. Uh, tonight we're going to raise several hundred thousand dollars, probably a million dollars, uh, so that we can support 12,000 children uh, who are educated in the Atlanta University Center. That's Morehouse College, Clark Atlanta, Spelman, ITC, all of them being supported tonight uh, in these tough times. What time. advice would you give to anyone living their dreams, given your success? Uh, my advice would be to dream and work, but always work harder than you dream. Just believe in yourself more than anyone else can. Don't take no for an answer. And um, no only means no if you accept that. If what your goal is is to live out your dream, which hopefully should be everyone's goal, is to be patient. Unless you got a spare life in your other pocket, you got to go for it. You got to go to you know. You got to go for your dreams. You know. I believe that dreams have two components to them. You've got to visualize them, and then you got to sweat to make them happen. The message would be in tonight. The investment that you make in a great education is an incredible investment that will live on for generations. The surprises of God and the people lead you faster and further than any dreams or schemes that you can come up with. Well, I can tell you one thing. Next year, I'm not covering the event. I'm going to put my mask on and have a good old time at the Mayor's Mask Ball, including the new vest that Andrew Young gave me after I complimented him. I said, I love your vest. The next day, I had a little carry-on, and he had given it to me. A salute to you, Mayor. I will wear that with pride and honor. You've been great to this community. We'll be right back on Get Connected. Why? Because we love keeping you in the know. Thank you so much for watching. Are you tired of negative news? We are. And that's why we're creating a movement by keeping it real. With what you need to know. It's more than what's happening. It's bringing hope back to our lives. So go to contv.com and join our movement.